Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the Chiori's 4 shards weapon. The Chiori is a new sword, 5 shard Geo character that is coming in patch, next patch, the latest patch of Genshin Impact. I don't know the number. But yeah, you know, the Chiori is already in the game and you want to know the top 5 4 shards weapon, the deepest weapon for the Chiori. So we're going to talk in depth about each and every weapon. So stay tuned till the end guys. Okay, first of all, Shori is based on the attack percentage and the defense percentage. Yes, if you go and check the elemental skill and the elemental bust of Shori, it's clearly mentioned there that all the multipliers is calculated on the basis of the attack plus defense. So you have to make sure that you are giving your Shori both attack and defense percentage. Otherwise, the Shori is a solo geo, um, mono geo kind of DPS and she's a very strong DPS. I already talked about the top 5 5 shot weapon for Shiori. You can go and check it out that video. The link are already somewhere like showing in this video. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 5 4 shot weapon. There are plenty of weapons already in the game. The BP weapons, the shop weapons, the OG weapons, the new weapons. There are plenty of the weapons, like they have, there are like 7 to 8 options are in the game for the Chiori. But in this video, we are only going to talk about the top 5 best weapon that you can give your Chiori. So let's start with the number 5. Alright guys, on number 5 we have the Aminoma Kaguchi. Aminoma Kaguchi, I think, I think is a craftable weapon, the Inazuma craftable weapon. It's a very good weapon, like many, many, uh, many in the game uh, use this weapon on Ayaka, Ayato. This one is very cool. If you want to do the elemental skill damage, the burst damage, also you want to get the maximum attack percentage. And the characters like uh, Ayaka and Ayato, they are based on the attack percentage. So this weapon is literally very, very good. Like on the number 5, this weapon is very good. Base attack, this weapon gave 554 base attack. And attack percentage, this weapon gave 55.1% attack. This weapon is giving you tons of tons of attack. And in the refinement also after casting elemental skill gain one succession seed. This effect can trigger once every 5 seconds. And so succession seed lasts for 30 seconds. Up to 3 succession seed may ex exist. Uh, and after an elemental burst all succession seeds are consumed. And after 2 seconds the character regains 6 energy for each seed consumed. So this means that you can like you know just spam the elemental burst. You can use the elemental skill. In this way, you can have more fun with your Shiori because you can just literally spam the elemental burst and you can rapidly gain the more attack percentage and more power to deal more damage on the field. So guys, if you wanna, if you like, don't wanna invest your time in getting the, you know, wished weapon or the shop weapon or the BP weapon, just get this weapon. I think this is a craftable weapon or Inazuma craftable weapon. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is a craftable weapon. And you can get this weapon and it's amazing. Like on number five, we have Aminova Kaguchi. Alright, okay, guys, on number four, we have the find finale of the deep. Finale of the deep. This is a, also a four-star weapon and a pretty old weapon. This weapon gives 565 base attack and 27.6% attack percentage. When using an elemental skill, attack will be increased by 12% for 15 seconds and a bond of life worth 25% of HP will be granted like this HP is not gonna be the you know the major case but this fact can be triggered once every 10 seconds when the board of life is cleared a maximum of 150 attack will be gained and on see this weapon is good but not that great this weapon is very much comparable with the the one I talked about on number 5 the any me I mean no Kaguchi so this is also a very good weapon but you have to use by yourself like you have to just use it on the uh, Shiori to see if this weapon is that good or not. On number 4, I want to include one more weapon. Is it this weapon? I don't know how many you know about this weapon. But you can get this weapon by doing a quest in the game. Uh, this is the original weapon that we've seen in the trailers. And in the videos of Genshin Impact that, we, uh, that the tra travel wheels. So you can actually get this weapon. This weapon gives a tons of tons of attack percentage and also gives a normal and charge attack, 160% attack damage, you know, some kind of very high amount of damage every 12 seconds. Not again, not that great weapon, but yes, can be usable on Shiori because Shiori is also, uh, you know, based on the attack and defense percentage. Okay, before talking about the third, second and first, I want to mention two more weapons that can be usable on Shiori. 
they are not that great but can be usable first is the sinna sinna bar spindle this is a very exclusive weapon like uh this is an event exclusive weapon so if you don't own this weapon right now you can you never going to own this weapon because this is uh albedo's event exclusive weapon this one gives 5 454 base attack and 69% defense yes i am also talking about the defense weapon in this video because shuri is kind of based also on the defense percentage and the in the refinement ability this is already r5 this gives elemental skill damage is increased by 80% of defense that effect will trigger no more than once every 1.5 second will be cleared 0.1 second after the elemental skill deals damage so this is also going to be very good because surely you know jump steel z uh, damage in elemental skill also a very good amount of damage so yeah this weapon is also can be usable on this is a bonus weapon i'm not rating this weapon on any thing this is a bonus weapon i'm mentioning that you can use this weapon on surely next the next bonus weapon is this festering desire festering desire is also a very good weapon uh why because this gives 510 base again and giving 45 energy i know in the case of shuri you actually don't need to focus on energy because shuri's ultimate only cost 50 energy cost is 50 but refinement is very good and again guys this is also a event exclusive weapon so if you don't have this weapon you're never going to own this weapon in the future The refinement is very good. Ah, uh, I'm um, pers my personal favorite. Increase elemental skill damage by thirty two percent and increase elemental skill crit rate by twelve percent. So again, this weapon also going to be very good on Shiori. So two bonus weapons are the festering desire and the cinnabar spindle. Now let's talk about the number three weapon. Hi right, guys, on number three we have the shop. Weapon. This is a shop blackleaf longsword weapon. You already know about this weapon. This weapon gives five six five base attack, thirty six point eight percent crit damage. After defeating an opponent, and attack is increased by twelve percent. You can stack this to maximum three, and every stack has their independent duration. This weapon is very good. Like giving thirty six crit damage to a DPS character is already already very good. Keep that in mind. Shuri is getting a bonus crit rate in her ascension. Yes, when you ascend your Shuri, you will get bonus crit rate. So giving a crit damage weapon with that gonna be very very good. So on number three, guys, we have the Black Cliff Longsword. Oh yeah, guys, on number two, we have my favorite sword in the game. It's the the Black Sword. Black Sword in the like in the past time in the OG times of the Genshin Impact in the beginning of the Genshin Impact. is one of uh, like one of the strongest sword in the beginning of the genshin impact and everyone uses this core sword mainly mainly on catching people also call this weapons a catching signatures weapon we already know chori is chori having a very similar game style uh, when we compare chori with catching catching and chori aladam these three characters having very similar bit play style don't know what the kit kit is definitely different i like them based on the elemental mastery uh catching is purely based on the attack and chori is based on the attack and defense and plus these three are diff carrying different element also one is electro one is tendro and one is chio but this weapon stays same amongst all of these this weapon is pretty cool giving 510 base attack 27.6% crit rate and A refinement increases damage dealt by normal and charge attack by forty percent, like literally by forty percent. This is very good because all these three characters, catching Shuri and L Adam, deals maximum damage in the normal and charge attack. So this is going to be very good. Additionally, they regenerate hundred percent of attack as the HP when normal and charge attack scores a crit hit, and this can be this. This effect can occurs once every five seconds. You can actually heal your character every five seconds. That is pretty cool. So on number two, guys, my personal favorite sword, the BP sword in the game, the Black Sword. And now, guys, on the number one, we have the Wolf Fang. Alright, guys. So Wolf Fang is again one of the strongest sword in the game. And I use this sword sometimes on my Furida. This is just absolute insane sword, giving you 510 base attack. 27.6 percent crit rate, and the refinement ability is just amazing. And I'm not gonna read the whole refinement ability. In short, I'm just gonna tell you this increases your elemental skill, ele elemental damage. Ah, uh, sorry, this increases your elemental skill and elemental burst 
damage and also increases your elemental skill and elemental burst crit rate additionally yes it's giving you 27% crit rate in the substrat but also increasing your crit rate in the refinement ability yes every 0.1 second and you can stack your 2% crit rate up to 8 that means additional 8% crit rate you're getting in the refinement on R1 and additional 16% damage bonus you're getting in the refinement for your elemental skill and elemental bus so this weapon also going to be blast on Shuri so guys this is my list for the top 5 5 star weapon and I also included 3 bonus weapons is also the total of seven, uh, no, eight weapons. I talked in the video for Shiori. Like we have the eight swords in the game, and uh, for Shiori, so you can pick your favorite one. I already rated my favorites top five, so we we can just like revise the list once again. On number five, we have the Aminoma Kaguochi. On number four, we have the Finale of the Deep. On number three, we have the black leaf long sword on number two we have the the black sword and on number one we have the wolf wong wolf fang sorry and the three bonus weapons are the sword of narzi sanctuaries i don't know what is this and on the or second bonus weapon is the cinnabar pendle on last bonus weapon is a festering desire so these are my lists. These are the weapons for the Shiori. I hope you like the video. If you have still have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Guys, like the video, subscribe to my channel. And come on, guys. We'll meet in the next video. So then bye-bye. Take care. And guys, guys, come on, subscribe.